This is Switzerland Insider. My name is Greg. Welcome to this Grindelwald First Travel Guide. Grindelwald First, or as most of us know it as Grindelwald First, is a mountain next to Grindelwald. You can reach the Grindelwald First cable car station by only a 5-10 to 10 minute walk from Grindelwald Center. Then you take the ride in a cable car that takes a total of 25 minutes. So, to go up first, you head up in this gondola that sits about 6 people, okay? Now, you have two stops in the middle. One is Bort, the other one is Schreckfeld, and then it continues to first. Obviously, you could get out at all of these stations, but I recommend you not to. And this has got two simple reasons, which I explain now. Although Grindelwald first is marketed as top of adventure, and there are certainly a lot of aspects to that, what's completely underrated is the amazing view of the Alpine scenery around you and of Grindelwald, and also the entire Alpine experience you get from there. So, what I wanted to do was to get up there as quickly as possible, to soak in these breathtaking views. Once at the top, everybody rushes to the Grindelwald first cliff walk and for a good reason, because here you can experience alpine history with amazing rocks to then continue to one of the most breathtaking views in all of the Jungfrau region, here overlooking Grindelwald and Eiger, Mönch and Jungfrau, the three popular mountains of the region. Once you've completed this highlight of your vacation, now you can relax and settle in a little bit on top of Grindelwald first. Now, a lot of people hike to Bachalpsee, which is a beautiful mountain lake that takes about two hours return, or they start making their way down. And making their way down, here, for some of you, the adventure will start. You always have the option to skip these adventure parts by simply taking the cable car. When you're at the top and you want to make your way down, you can either go for a half an hour hike or you take the first flyer down to the station called Schreckfeld. At Schreckfeld, you have the option to take the first glider, an installation that allows you to fly like an eagle, or you can take the mountain car all the way down to Bort. And at Bort, you can take a trotty bike all the way down to Grindelwald. You don't see me on these mountain carts and that's got a simple reason. I did not plan enough time on Grindelwald first. I had a little bit more than two hours to be up there, but instead I should have planned around four hours. This makes Grindelwald first a perfect half day trip. Before we talk about prices, I want you to know that Grindelwald first is an attraction that has got two seasons, summer and winter. And in summer, you can do everything I explained to you before. In winter, you cannot do the mountain cart or the trotty bike because so Grindelwald first serves as a ski resort during winter season. Just make sure you do not want to visit Grindelwald first in November or early December as the cable car is down for maintenance. A return ticket on Grindelwald first costs 64 Swiss francs. If you have a Swiss travel pass or a half air card, you pay half that amount. Also, the Grindelwald first cable car is included in the Jungfrau travel pass and in the regional pass of the Berner Oberland. You can book the adventure attractions in the beginning or as you wish on top of the mountain as well. Is Grindelwald first worth it? It is absolutely worth a trip, even if you don't want to do any of the adventure attractions. Now, if you know already beforehand which ones you would like to do, you can get them cheaper if you book a package at Grindelwald first station. I will definitely return to Grindelwald first, However, I will probably not do all of the adventure attractions, but one thing I will do for sure, and that is going there for snowboarding in winter. I hope you enjoyed this travel guide from Grindelwald First. See you soon. Peace, bald, and tschüss.